Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and we've hit Friday. Yeah, fabulous weekend. Here it comes once again. And I do hope that you have a wonderful one. Right, KLJ UYP Project Share. And I did the slimline with the candy jars. It comes with all kinds of elements, like you've got little handles, you've got hearts, you've got various candies, lollipops, jelly beans, and you've also got little labels if you want to use them. Now, I did measure all these in the haul yesterday, and I will link that below. I also used the planner dies, which looks like a huge bag of bits, which it is, because <laughs> planner dies are quite large, and it comes with all different flower panels and different panels, um, but I didn't use any of the flowers. I just chose to do it my own specific way, and I also used that gorgeous, gorgeous bow, and it is one of the prettiest bows I have ever seen. So... First up, the candy jars. And here we are. I use that, um, oh, what's it called? That Perfect Petals or something. Perfect, yeah, I think it's called Petal Perfect or something from Michael's. That's that candy stripe paper in the background. And then I use my Michael's um, scrap pack of glitters and foils that you can get there, which I got in the sale. But I'm going to show you that bow first. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I absolutely love that. Tons and tons of dimension. I put both of them together there so that you've got the little uh, fishtails and you've also got the swag at the bottom. There's the hearts from the set. There's the lollipops, the jelly beans and the little sweeties, little candies. And look at the size of that slim line. I just really, really think it's pretty. And of course, all of these elements can be used on their own. That includes the jars. The jars are a great shape and you could use um, a gold or a wood, wood grain top. And you could turn them into honey jars or little jam jars or whatever it is you wanted to. But I just think that's really, really sweet. And I think that bow is absolutely stunning. There you go. Sideways on. Just love it. So that is the slimline with all the lots and lots of bits that you get. And also the bow. Right. Next up. <coughs> I've got a terrible sore throat. Is the planner die. And put it that way around. You can see it. It's actually a door, and what I've done is I've stamped using um, the stamps that I got by, oh, let me get it right, Heidi Swap from Michaels. They were in the sale, and uh, they're actually called Mink Stamps, M-I-N-C. So whether they're meant to be used with foil or not, I don't know, but they do stamp really nicely. And then I use the Hero... Um, not Hero Arts, Hampton Arts Inc. that I got from Tuesday morning, which is uh, this stuff and comes in a pack of four. And I also used First Fine Claire in the black and um, basically just stamped down each of the panels. So I've got Go, See, Do and Funshine. And then the background cardstock is that alcohol ink type pad that I got from Tuesday morning. So you open it up and it's all ready for whatever it is that, you know, I'm going to put in there. But it's just really, really nice. I absolutely love it. Turn it that way. Really, really simple to do. You've just got your base, which I've cut in black, and then you've got that other large mat that you can see in there. Then you cut the panels for the doors. And you can cut into those panels, but I just cut a black frame and popped it all the way around. But I really, really like that. So that is what I did with the planner die. And what else have I got? Because it's Friday. Ah, oh, yeah. I got a new die set that I bought for myself. And it cuts frosting um, borders. And it's this. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I cut it in Dollar Tree foam board. And there's four of them. 
and there's the first one Isn't that nice gonna make a nice sort of edge roof on a little gingerbread house and then look at that one it just looks like piped frosting see how close we can get I think that's about it for today got a lot of bright sunshine which I'm not going to complain about and then the other one is the wave edge frosting so you can turn your cards into uh, birthday cakes or little gingerbread houses or something now it does come as well with the flower which you can also brayer over the top and it looks like a peppermint swirl and that was my intention and it was lovely I brayed it in uh Oh, what's that distressing called? Barn door. Yeah, it was bright, bright red. And um, I thought, right, it's nice and dry now. And I'm going to put glossy accents on it. And I did. And it was looking fabulous. And then I dropped it on the floor and it landed glossy accents down onto the carpet. And uh, I think it had more bow on it than anything else. <laughs> so that one went into the bin. So I do have these three to share with you. And I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So at some point, I was going to try and use them today. But at some point next week, maybe in the tutorial, I'll use these because they're just so pretty. Right. As I say, it's the weekend and I do hope that you have an absolutely awesome one. I'm going to be out in the garden because it's going to be nice and warm and hopefully it's going to stay dry and I will see you on Monday. I haven't got a clue what I'm coming up with on Monday. It may be a design team haul. But anyway, have an absolutely awesome weekend as usual. All links below. Bye.